Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Ron Bishop here again from Timaru, New Zealand. I'm sitting on my prayer chair at the moment. My prayer chair is on the corner of Glenetti Road and uh, Pages Road. Behind me is the water tower, the Timaru water tower. And this is where I come to pray. And I'm praying this morning, or this afternoon, I'm praying this afternoon for my health, for better health, because I've been to see uh, an oncologist today, and uh, he's not talking in years or months left for me to live, he's talking in weeks. Uh, because there's something wrong with my liver, the cancer, he says, is, is growing, and it's blocking the bile, the liver from producing the bile. And this is causing you rich. I've got an itch all over me, so you know, scratch all the time. Uh, yeah. Dr. Dean Harris is my oncologist. Uh, I've seen two oncologists at the moment, or three, I think. Uh, but anyway, this is what follows from Christchurch. A nice guy. And we're going to work together as a team to cure my cancer. I told him I'm not interested in treating it, I'm interested in curing it. I'm going to cure cancer. It's a very rare cancer, it's in the duodenum, uh, and not many people have this type of cancer. But I'm going to prove to them that I can heal it. And I heal it by uh, doing affirmations and visualization. So I've asked him to give me a, a hard copy of the scan he took of my liver the other day and my uh, where all the cancer is supposed to be. I've, I've wanted a hard copy of that and I want a hard copy of what I'm supposed to look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to visualize myself healed. I'm going to shrink the cancer. I'm not going to have chemotherapy or radiotherapy or anything like that. I'm going to shrink the cancer and I'm going to shrink it by thinking it. I'm going to hold a mental picture in my mind of it shrinking. Okay? Now, nobody has ever done this before. They've always taken notice of the oncologist and had radiation or chemotherapy or something like that. I'm not having poisons put into my body. I refuse chemotherapy because I'm not having poisons put into my body. I'm going to cure it with my mind. I'm going to hold a mental picture in my mind of being healed. And I'm up here on the prayer chair and I'm, I'm pr praying to God. Dear Father God, thank you for giving me another day of life. Thank you, Jesus. Just keep me alive one day at a time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing my body. Thank you for coming into my life and thank you for healing my body. I have a perfect body and you, you are healing it for me. Thank you, Jesus, for healing my body. Okay? Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me alive. Thank you, Lord, for my healthy feet. Thank you, Lord, for my healthy ankles. Thank you, Lord, for my healthy thighs. Thank you, Lord, for my healthy knees. Thank you, Lord, for my healthy stomach. Thank you, Lord, for my healthy chest. Thank you, Lord, for my healthy lungs. Thank you, Lord, for my healthy liver. Thank you, Lord, for my healthy heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for my intelligent brain. Thank you, Lord, for healing my brain. Thank you, Lord, for healing my, my ulcer. Thank you, Lord, for healing the ulcer in my body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.